If you want to use a keyboard with an ANSI layout with your language specific ISO keycaps, in this video I will explain how you can do that. The first thing you have to do is you have to take all your ISO keycaps and put them on your ANSI keyboard. And all the keys that you either don't have or don't fit onto your ANSI keyboard, you will fill with the normal ANSI keycaps that would be there normally. But all the other keycaps should fit onto your ANSI keyboard. And the keys that you will probably have to use from the ANSI keycap set is the big shift key, this return key right here, and that should be it. You will also, no, you should also need this uh, backslash key right here, because this backslash key, this is not, that doesn't exist in the ISO layout. And you probably can't use the hashtag key and you can't use the greater than less than key down here, because the ANSI layout has one key less and the key that is missing on the ANSI layout is the greater than less than key. The hashtag key from the ISO layout will become the backslash key. So on your new ANSI keyboard with your ISO keycaps, the hashtag key will be the backslash key, the ANSI backslash key. You just have to remember that or you have to paint the backslash on the keycap itself, itself but who, who does that, right? So that's basically the first step. Fill your keyboard with all the keycaps. The second step is to just plug it into your PC and then in theory, your PC should select the correct language. That is the language that you use in your operating system for your keyboard. Just go into a text editor and try to type on your keyboard. It should work. You should be able to use your language specific keycaps. If this doesn't work, maybe check your, your language settings again on your OS. And if this doesn't work either, you probably have a bigger problem. If you have that problem, comment below. I guess there will be a few people that have this problem and maybe you can help each other out. But if your keyboard works as it should and you can use your language specific keys, we can go to step number three. And step number three is to open your key mapping software of choice. In my case, it is VIA. And what you will be greeted with is this screen right here should be your keyboard. In my case, it is the NK87. I have the NK87, it has the ANSI layout, but I use it with my language specific ISO keycaps. Okay, so this will not be a VIA tutorial, but I believe, and I may be wrong, but I believe that the first two layers are for Windows and the second two layers are for Mac OS. So at least I have created these layers so that the first two work for Windows and the second two work for Mac OS. And this is important because depending on the operating system you use, the next step is different. Let's begin with Windows. So if you use Windows, if you have Windows as an operating system, uh, what you have to do is you're, you usually start in the basic category and then you click on special. And then you will find the key NUBS. That stands, I believe that stands for non-US backslash. And this non-US backslash is your greater than less than key. This key, the NUBS key right here, is your is this key. This is the key. So what you have to do is you just have to select any key on your keyboard that you want to use as your greater than less than key. In my case, it is this key right here because I don't use this uh, block of keys that much anyway I said okay just you know let's put the greater than less than key right here so just select the key and then select the NUBS key and it's done now you can use your you have mapped your greater than less than key and you can use it but if you use macOS what you have to do is you have to use not the NUBS key but the RO key right next to it. So I select the same key and I select the RO key and now I have also selected the greater than less than key or I have mapped the greater than less than key for macOS onto my keyboard. And that's basically it. Now you can use all your language specific keys. As you can see right here, by the way, I have not, you know, I've not changed any of those keys. Those are all default because like I said, if you plug in your, your keyboard and select the language on your PC and select the correct language for your keyboard, your computer will, will do everything for you. You don't have to do anything. Except for the greater than less than key. That, that one you have to do by yourself. And that's basically it. If you now you know, select a text editor and press this key, I press it right now, it works. If I press shift and the key, everything works as it should. And that is basically everything you need to do, you now 
can use your keyboard, your ANSI keyboard with your language specific ISO keycaps. So to conclude the video, if you want to use your ANSI keyboard with your language specific ISO keycaps, what you have to do is the first step, put on all the ISO keycaps on your ANSI keyboard and fill the rest with the ANSI keycaps. If you have done that, plug it into your PC and test it out. It should work. If it doesn't work, check your language settings for your operating system and for your keyboard. And the third step is to open your key mapping software of choice and then map the NUBS key for Windows and the RO key for macOS. And that's it. Now you can use your ANSI keyboard with your language specific ISO keycaps and you can live a happy life. If I could help you with this video, I really would appreciate a like. Uh, it helps me a lot and it helps to gain traction for smaller channels. So I would really appreciate a like. And if you like my content, um, maybe consider to subscribe. It's free and I try to upload a video every week. So I would appreciate that. Until the next one, stay safe.